This is the new Hyundai Exter, the first direct rival to Tata Punch and a car for those buyers who are looking for an SUV-ish looking vehicle in the budget of a hatchback. So what is the Exter all about? What is the kind of features it gets? What is the kind of engine it gets? And how is it to drive? And most importantly, is it value for money or not? Let's find out over the next few minutes. Now let's talk about the design first and as you can see, well, it has got definitely a very different design from the Tata Punch or any other SUV-ish hatchback that you have on sale right now. Up front, you've got this very nice looking front. What I really like about the design is that it looks pretty much like an electric vehicle which is like largely shut. So it gives a bit of a futuristic look. These headlamps again look good and these LED DRLs, the design is very eye-catchy. Move towards the side and you get these very good looking alloy wheels and move further back on the side and that's where you see the pronounced body lines. The shoulder line, the belt line and also the arches on the rear door. The way the door has been contoured, all of it is very aggressive. So that just gives this small extra a lot of character. Even at the rear, you'll see the tail lamps look pretty smart. And when you put it all together, it definitely is a vehicle that will turn heads. It will get attention. Is it good looking? Well, design is a very subjective matter. I would say it is a vehicle that grabs attention, but isn't necessarily a design that comes together in a perfect synchrony. But that said, it definitely will turn heads wherever you go. Step inside the cabin of the Hyundai Exter and you are greeted to a familiar Hyundai cabin which is a good thing by the way. The dashboard again it's a triple layer dashboard and the center part has all of this pattern here which gives it a sort of a cool finish. Also it feels nice to touch so it gives it a bit of a premium feel. The infotainment screen that you see here it's a familiar Hyundai unit. It's an integrated unit that you see here and the touch response is good. Again, the visibility is pretty good. You get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, the instrument cluster itself. It's a fully digital instrument cluster. Good readouts, big, easy to decipher units. So again, very easy to read in that way. The steering wheel is a multifunctional one, gets all the usual controls, including the infotainment phone and the cruise control. And you've got the climate control buttons in the center console. You also have a wireless charging pad here and an electrically operated normal sunroof, not a panoramic sunroof. You can't expect the world in this price segment. But for the price that the extra commands, I think it has a very good cabin. It doesn't exude cost cutting in any way. So it comes across as a nicely built premium cabin. The seats themselves are pretty good. They've got a firm cushioning and the side support is also good. And as a result of that, the overall occupant comfort and the experience up front is very impressive. Now talking of the back seat experience of the Exter, well, you can see despite the small physical footprint on the exterior, inside you've got very good space. Now I've got the driver's seat adjusted to my driving preference, 5 feet 8 inches for reference and it's clear that the Exter offers good amount of space. I've got a lot of knee room to spare. I can easily slide my legs underneath the driver's seat. And one of the best things about this car is that it has good amount of under thigh support. Now, this is something that you don't find in cars in this segment, even hatchbacks. And somehow the engineers and the designers for the Exter have managed to give a very good seat bench in the back. The backrest incline angle again is good. The cushioning is pretty much spot on for this price segment. You've got adjustable headrests. 
So that again makes the overall experience very comfortable. They've got these rear AC vents. The door pockets are practical and usable. And if I talk about the headroom again, you can see that there is a lot of room to spare. So clearly, it's not a small car and it's not gonna just manage to fit in your family or your friends. And as a result of that, if you're looking for a car to just go out with your friends or to take out your family in, I think the Exter does a brilliant job of it. Now before we go further and tell you more about the driving experience of the Exter, if you're liking this video, please share it, subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon so that all our videos and all the things that we do reach to you directly. And now coming to the powertrain of the Hyundai Exter. It comes with a petrol engine. You can also buy it with a CNG option. And it has a CNG right from day one. So that is a very good thing for the Exter. It will add a lot to the numbers because people who want a CNG vehicle, a factory fitted CNG, this has it. Now the one that we are driving right now is the 1.2 litre Kappa petrol unit. The old tried and tested engine from Hyundai it develops 83 horsepower and the company claims you will get over 19 kilometres to a litre. The one that we have right now is the manual gearbox version but you can go in for an AMT as well and interestingly it comes with paddle shifters for AMT which is something like a Lamborghini Aventador, AMT with paddle shifters. But let's talk about the engine first. The engine has sufficient power to move this vehicle. It's not a big vehicle, it's a compact vehicle, doesn't weigh too much and that's the reason why 83 horsepower is more than enough to move this vehicle. Actually, it moves pretty rapidly. So off the line, the Exter is quick and when you're gunning it, it can be pretty fun to drive. The gearbox, the manual gearbox is pretty slick. The throws are easy, smooth, short. The gearbox is mated to the engine pretty well. As a result of that, the overall driving experience is very nice. The acceleration is good. You will reach triple digit speeds without any problem. So even if you're going to drive on highways, maintaining a triple digit speed is not going to be an issue. With a lot of small cars, people have a, a, inhibition that probably if you're on an expressway where the speed limit is 100 or 120 will I end up being a roadblock a slow moving roadblock not the case with the Exter 100 120 easily it'll do that no problems at all and talking of the AMT well the AMT also works pretty fine it works just like an AMT would and Hyundai has done a good job with their AMTs so yes there is that slight lag which will always be there with an AMT but the purpose of an AMT is to give you the convenience of an automatic without burning a hole in your pocket and it does that to the T. So it fulfills the purpose, it works well and overall in terms of driving like I said it is a good vehicle to drive, pretty quick, can be fun, it is refined too. So from the perspective of its segment when you drive it, it doesn't give you the feel you know, of being a vehicle that costs less. You do not feel any kind of cost cutting. Like I said earlier, you don't find any evident cost cutting when you look at the cabin. Similarly, when you drive it, you don't feel you're driving something cheap. You feel you're driving something good. And that, I think, is a very strong point of the Exter. And that is something that will differentiate it from a lot of other vehicles in a similar price bracket. Now coming to the ride and handling, well the ride quality is tuned more towards comfort which it should be because the kind of customer that the Exter is aimed at, they want comfort not a sporty handling. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't handle well. At triple digit or high speeds, it drives in a very composed manner and even if you're braking hard from a high speed, it doesn't really feel nervous so it will hold its line. Around corners, well, uh, it I would say it's neutral. It's not a vehicle that can not go around corners fast. It can, 
but like i said earlier it's not a sporty vehicle it's built to cater to a certain purpose it does that so as long as you keep that in mind and drive it fast around corners it will be fine but try and push it a little too hard you will immediately experience a fair bit of body roll understeer and that is not something you would want to see in a vehicle it's not built to do that so no point doing that but overall i think it is a nice vehicle to drive comfortable like i said good ride quality predictable handling the steering again is very light and easy to use in traffic the flip side is it doesn't give you any feedback of what's happening with the front wheels but that i think is a case with a lot of hyundai cars you do not get any kind of a good feedback from the steering but again that's okay like i said it's an urban vehicle primarily and it does its job pretty well so should you buy the hyundai extra or not let's talk about the prices first now you can see the prices on your screen right now and i believe the hyundai extra has been priced pretty competitively the top version maybe has room for a little bit more competitiveness in the pricing but at the end of the day if you look at what you're getting for the money the kind of package you're getting the space the features the driving quality everything i think the hyundai extra comes across as a very strong option and of course if you are someone looking for a feature rich vehicle inside 10 lakh rupees but you like the suv design or the body style i think the extra fits the bill perfectly so if that is your requirement i think the extra is not just the newest option but also one of the best options in the market today So this is the cabin of the Hyundai Extra. It's cool, it's spacious. It's very hot outside. It's very cool inside. Great. Thank you.